Do you need to pick up items or cargo for your customers? Watch this video to find out how Magaya helps you get it done. Hi, I'm Franco from Magaya Customer Support. In Magaya Software, we help you pick up items and cargo with a transaction called the pickup order. It defines terms for delivering goods from one location to another. You can create a pickup order anytime from scratch or convert a quote into a pickup order depending on how you work. Your customers can also send you pickup requests online in LifeTruck. They can even print labels for their boxes, making pickup easier. For this video, we'll show you how to create a pickup order manually, select a template for it, and send a tax to the Final Mile app for your drivers. Let's get started. In the Warehousing folder, click Pickup Order and the Add button. On the General tab, a lot of information fills in automatically. For example, the pickup order number comes from your configuration menu, but you can change it. Change the dates and times as needed. On the Shipper tab, select who's shipping the items and the pickup location. If the pickup location is the shipper's address, click the Copy button. If it's a different address, select it or add it. On the Consignee tab, select the consignee who will receive it, if you know it. If not, leave it blank. Select the delivery location. It could be the consignee, your warehouse, or a different place. The client to bill defaults to the ultimate consignee, but you can change it. On the supplier tab, you can select someone different from the shipper or consignee if needed. The invoice and purchase order fields are optional. On the carriers tab, select a trucking company from the drop-down list for the inland carrier such as your own trucks or a vendor's. The main carrier section is used if this pickup order will be part of a larger logistics process. For example, if you know this will be exported overseas later, you can add the ocean carrier here. If not, leave it blank. For MVOCC's returning containers, add a return address for the container here. The Commodities tab is the place to add the cargo, items, or a container to be picked up. There are several options, so let's review them. Click the Add button to add loose cargo or vehicles. If you have part numbers defined, select the one you need. All the details fill in automatically. Use any tabs needed, then click OK to save the item. To add a container, click the Add Container button. Select a type from the list, such as a pallet or a shipping container. Want to itemize what's in the pallet? Select the pallet, click the Detail button, and add individual lines. Then all the items inside the pallet will show. On the bottom of the screen, you will see the totals of the items. Now, let's go to the Charges tab. If you automated a charge, such as a documentation, it appears here. To add a charge, click Add and select an income or an expense. The word Freight means freight-related charges, such as priority freight and more. A play income or expense charge is for documentation, cartage, inland freight or service. For a quick example, let's add a charge for inland freight. Select Income Charge, then select Inline Freight. Make any changes needed, such as adding a description or changing the currency or prepaid setting. Do you remember the client to bill filled in the consignee tab? The name is filled in here for you to speed up adding charges. Check the box if you want the charges to show in the pickup order document. Click OK to save the charge. Back in the charges tab, you can change the units for the charges on the document. Later, you can generate invoices and bills here for this pickup order. To learn more about charges, see the knowledge base. These tabs are optional but useful depending on your needs. Events, which can trigger email notices of events, attachments to add photo or documents, and notes and internal notes. Now, check out the POD tab. This is for proof of delivery and it works manually or with our Final Mile app. They sign for the pickup right on the phone and it shows up here instantly. The app can also save photos. First, let's close to finish the pickup order so we can send it to the app. All the details fill into the document for you. To change the template, click the Actions button. Try one to see how it looks. You can always change it back. You can print the document or labels, or email the document as needed. And now, to create a task and send it to the app, just click the Task button. Assign the task to one person, or leave it for any driver to do. Select the task type as Delivery, POD. The due date and reminder are optional, but useful for productivity reports. Now, the task is sent to the Final Mile app. When a pickup order brings items to the warehouse, you can create a warehouse receipt directly from the pickup order. Run reports in the pickup order list. Customize the list by using filters or changing the dates. To see different columns, click Actions and choose Columns. Then save the view for easy viewing later. That's how you create a pickup order in Magaya. See the knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos. 
Thanks for watching.